stomach churns around and around. The bile within is unsettled. Each moment brings a new surge. Your companions sleep like blissful lumps of meat. The gods fight over her. But is she truly that special? You could do so much better, my lord. I won't lay so much as a talon on her. I wouldn't rob you of that delight. Your clever mind is penning tragedy as we speak. Your repressed urge yearns to kill. And kill you will. Tonight, the moment you close your eyes, your favorite person will be brutalized. It is precisely because you didn't touch her that you are insatiable. Your dark urge will have death, one way or another. Tonight. Ah, she was starting to trust you, the only one she ever has. Pity it's coming to an end. You are wrong to consider another your equal. It is my duty to ensure you are making the right decisions, Master. There was much uh, disappointment at your reluctance to kill the little Moon Maiden. You could kill this one deliberately. I'm sure it will be considered a great show of goodwill. The tithe could still be yours. I do not doubt you will act with a decorum befitting one of your rank. A good night, sweet lord. Your companion rests blissfully, without a fear in the world. As your hand approaches her body, it wavers. It longs to close around her throat. Hmm? Oh. Has the mood struck you, love? I suppose we could try. If you think the others won't stir? Hold on, you look like you've had a shock. Something the matter? All right, I'm awake. Tell me everything. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. I wouldn't give for a boring lover sometimes. I'd rather you'd trusted me sooner, given all we've been through already. Seems like some sort of curse. The last bloody thing we need. But we're going to help you through this. Together. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. You convinced me to spare Night Song. You and I are both capable of resisting the darkness that compels us. Easy. You're in control. Bloodlust won't win tonight. You can thank me once the bloodlust subsides. Keep focused. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. You once again inhabit your own mind. I think some more explaining is in order. Exactly what just came over you? I'll help protect you. I promise. Seems I'll need to just to keep myself safe. Hmm. 
We'll best this. Just think positively. Or at least don't think murderously. Besides, there's plenty of foes out there for you to vent your impulses on. I know you have your personal demons to contend with. But if I didn't make it clear before, I think you can beat this. Just don't give in. And seek help if you need it. He thinks he might end the world. But you and I could do far worse. He would forget his god for you, but you won't for him. Of that I know. Mm. A pleasant dream gives way to an even more pleasant reality. Wayne, I'm not sure I like the look in your eyes. What's wrong? I see. Fast as in right now, I assume, rather than first light after some sleep fast. You better tell me all. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. Why I've shared my heart with you. And I'd truly rather you didn't skewer it. Dangerous secrets are best shared with those who depend on you. I should know. We're in this together. Theoretically. You should have confided in me sooner. What is it? A curse? Compulsion? Enthrallment? Whatever it is, we're going to free you of it. Suddenly you become drowsy. You are not yourself. All control is gone. Easy there. Your mind is your own, as are your limbs. Don't do anything rash. Steady. You can rein this in. Nobody's getting hurt. Gratitude can wait. You're not out of the woods yet. Stay focused. Welcome back to the land of the Lucid, where explanations are owed, if you don't mind. This is surmountable, I'm sure. I'll protect you until you prevail. Hate's too easy for my liking. Let's take the high road on this. Chin up. We'll best this. Well, whatever it is. At least there's no shortage of enemies out there for you to kill. A veritable feast for the violent at heart. A disturbed and disturbing night for all of us. But worth it. With due diligence, your impulses will soon be mastered. Or at least prevented from causing further harm. Now, as the saying goes, what's left undone should be left unspoken. Is there some lighter subject you wish to discuss? She came all the way to this world just to die here. She is only using you. Don't you know that? Your breath and body. The heat of you. You know what it does to me. Bah. You look sick as a cadaver. What's come over you? Point me the way, and I will scrape my enemy's skin from its body. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. Raise a hand against me, and even a lover would not live to speak the tale. You're suffering. I see it. Perhaps the shadow curse still lingers. No. You are more than cursed. You are taken. This is no new affliction, is it? To think you'd keep this from me. We have too many battles before us. I will not have you falling to bloody madness! Suddenly you become drowsy. You are not yourself. All control is gone. Keep it together, or so help me. Listen to me. 
Whatever this lunacy, defy it, or you will answer to my blade. I don't need thanks. I need answers. For now, rest. We'll speak come dawn. Not to be maudlin, but I'm glad I didn't gut you. Now, answers. Whenever this urge strikes next, we will fight it and we will win. Hate you? Don't be ridiculous. If I hated you, you'd already be dead. Now. A new dawn has come, with new victories to claim. So let's get to claiming them before someone else beats us to it. You are worried about this killing urge. I can see it. I will try to help you resist. But spill a single drop of my blood, and yours will flow in a gusher. He is an insult to the name of devils. Posing as a monster with that sickly good heart. <laughs> he adores you so blindly. Like a pup. <laughs> Don't you find it sickening? I love feeling you close. But are you sure? Gods, what's the matter? You look like you've seen a Gravehound's ghost. You've got my attention. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. You wouldn't. You couldn't. Could you? You're not in your right mind. There are healers in the city. Clerics who can help. You should have told me sooner. We could have figured something out. Maybe we still can. There's yet to be a storm we couldn't weather. Suddenly you become drowsy. You are not yourself. All control is gone. Hey. Hey, stay with me! Rise up, meet its gaze. Show it no fear and grant it no mercy. The fiend slain. As if I could ever have doubted you. Now rest. You've earned it. How are you feeling? Talk to me. Should this inner fiend seek battle again? I'll give it one. Let it taste the edge of the blade. hate you. The coast would sooner be swallowed whole by the Sea of Swords. You don't have to shoulder this burden alone. And next time you're in a killing mood, let me know. I'll point you in the right direction. I see the hunger in your eyes, and I see how it worries you. It worries me too. But you are stronger than the hunger. You can resist. You will resist. I'm sure of it. Ah, she thinks she is finally away from the monsters. <laughs> Poor fool. She's as good as dead anyway. She won't be saved by the power of love. Not yours. Hello, love. <sighs> Did you have a bad dream? You look like hell. What's wrong? Tell me what to do, and it's done. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. Driving you that mad, am I? Look, we'll do whatever it takes to keep us both safe. I promise. But why didn't you tell me before? I could have helped you sooner. 
Like you've helped me. That's what we do. We help each other. Suddenly you become drowsy. You are not yourself. All control is gone. Attention, soldier. You do not have permission to freak the fuck out right now. You can do this. I got you, and I'm not letting you go. Thank me when we've both survived the night. That you in there, love? We'll get through this together. I'll protect us. And we'll skip through fate like two truants on the beach at midday. We'll get through this. <laughs> like two roaches in an apocalypse mind, but still. You sure keep me on my toes, don't you? That's why I keep you around. About what happened? About your affliction? I know you're sorry. And I know you're probably afraid it'll happen again. I'll look after myself. You look after you. If we each do our part, we'll both be all right. I'll look after myself. You look after you. If we each do our part, we'll both be all right. I promise. He is so afraid. So, so afraid of everyone. Besides you who he ought to fear most. You like him for more than his looks, but he will never believe that. Why not make him a pretty corpse? <sighs> well, hello. Looking for a cuddle? Although, you don't look entirely yourself. What's going on in that head of yours? All right. Talk quickly, then. As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. <laughs> I'd rather be the only dark power inside your body, if it's all the same to you. You're welcome to try and kill me, of course, but I don't die easily these days. You could have talked to me before things got murderously bad, you know. We are technically in this together. Whatever it is that's controlling you, we can fight it. I know that better than anyone. Suddenly you become drowsy. You are not yourself. All control is gone. This thing won't have you. It won't win. Easy now, darling. You've got this. And I've got you. You do the same to me. Now just relax. Dawn isn't far off. Now that you're back with us, we need to have a talk. You're not alone in this. None of us are. We can even compare notes if you like. I don't hate you, because this is not you. But whatever this is, you will get through it. And I'll be here to make sure you do. Anyway, it's a brand new day. I'm sure we'll find lots of people for you to kill. Good morning. Uh, thank you for not killing me the other night. Are you all right now, or is today a I will wed you with a delicate veil of blood blooming over your white curls kind of day? <laughs> I'm also worried about me. But I seem to somehow be worried about you more. <laughs> you give me something to care for. 
And that's worth the peril. 